hi, Daniel, I have your work up, and I think you did a good job. You know, my main comments from last week are really getting the um, the work cleaned up. I'm, it, here was my comments from last week, week five, and I've done this. I've opened up week five, take a look at a lot of students to see where they've, you know, where how they've um, considered the comments of their peers as well as um, as well as myself. So um, now the pictograms will create like little wonderful records of family drum figures. Very nice. I recommend cleaning these up in Illustrator. There's a lot of overlapping strokes that should be cleaned up. Uh, you know, like a modern contemporary digital rendition of those little Sammy dudes. I don't think we're there yet, Daniel. I, I really don't. I don't think, the, I mean, you, you you did a great job for what you did. I mean, a lot of the heads had those little points coming off them. And I clean, you clean those up a lot. But I, I'm going to show you some more examples. And you changed your color to more of a cool color palette. And I think that definitely helps. I think that it, it totally alleviates a lot of confusion that those orange and red um, pictograms were um, uh, developing. Okay, so so the logo itself, I, again, I, I just, I don't, I, it doesn't have a finished feel to it, to me. I mean, I, I, the, it's got great bones, and I think that the cross in the background, I, well, the first thing I think it's a logo, the mark itself is too small in relationship to the Stockholm and the Olympic rings. Um, I, I think that that relationship should be, I, the, the mark itself should be a little bigger in relationship. It's, it's just too small. It's not standing up to the rings. It's not standing up to Stockholm, which are both presented in a pretty beefy fashion. So uh, I, so the tendency is just to go like this to where the weight is. So the eye goes right here and kind of skips over your logo. So the best way to alleviate that is by scale. So let's I increase the scale a little bit. And I really think that you need to go through every little piece here and just really, I mean, pen tool and go through and really make these things, you know, so they don't look like this right here. Well, let's we'll finish with the logo. So, so just clean up the logo as best you can, all right? I'm not sure what this is right here, this little loop hanging off the top of the head. And then these and these these Cs or backward Cs, I, 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 I think that another one of your classmates last week um, alluded to the fact that she didn't really know what she was looking at because there were no descriptions. And I think the same thing can be said about this week's presentation. There's just, I mean, why are the C's here? Remember last week I was talking about approaching every design presentation as if you're, the assumption is that the viewer has not even ever, doesn't have any idea what you're, t what you're writing or talking about. And so it, and that just ensures a really complete thorough presentation. And I, and I, again, I'm going to suggest that you employ that tactic moving forward or that technique to really remind your um, viewers what they're looking at. Okay. Um, as far as the pictograms go now, again, here we have, I'm just going to zoom in here. And I just want to show you this one right here. This is just not going to reproduce well at all. You got all these little kind of like that little line there and this little thing doesn't meet here. And, and I'm going to get in even closer. So I think we can get in, in, oops, in closer. So do you see what I'm saying? See how that doesn't quite meet up there. That doesn't quite meet up. It's got a little stray spot right there. Um, things like that, like that little inconsistent area right there. Things like that. See how that doesn't match up with. Um, see how that's not a, a perfect curve. That should be a, a, a nice curve. And, and. You know, I know that you're going for this hand rendered Sammy thing, but this is these are have to be production ready. And right now, with the indication of these kind of wayward points right here, right here, this thing sticking up here, and this wayward point right here. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, they th this just looks like it's been a line placed over. An arm. It doesn't look like it's a ski pole. Do you understand what I'm saying? See this little stray point here? So that, I think, cleaning those up is, is really going to make a big, big difference in, in the presentation. Okay, moving forward from there, as far as your placement goes, um, you know, I, I, I don't think you're showing enough here. Daniel, I mean, you've got some some placement on a T-shirt, but I mean, we've been doing that since for a long time now. I mean, nothing new here. We've all seen this before. So I want you to take this to a new level. Really take a look at some of your um, classmates, what they're doing. Take some ideas from there and really start pushing this this thing to to the next level. Um, 
Okay, if you have any questions, please get with me. And I, I think you're, you're, you're definitely heading them in the right direction. Um, I, you know, I, I, I think that we really, really need to start piping this thing down and saying, okay, it's, we're nearing completion here. So it's time to really start um, uh, adding the completing and finishing touches to, to the pictograms, to the logo, and to the placement object. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Thanks.